Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com, CoinOpNY.com, and Mickey's Antique Amusements on Facebook. And here we are back in the workshop here, looking at another Pitch and Bat project, 1956 Williams Deluxe, Four Bagger Deluxe. And this is sort of a cool game. This was the first game that uh, Williams made with a Formica Playfield. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this game. We're going to walk around the cabinet, the insides, see what's here, what's not, what needs to be done. Not sure if I'm going to refurbish this machine, restore it, keep it for my collection, or sell it as is. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll start with the back glass. The back glass is in just average shape. It's barely usable, uh, even though it probably looks good in this video. There's... It's, it's really flaking up in here. It's see, you can see where it's bubbling. Some of the paint is coming off over here. I, I guess that could be flattened, sealed, and touched up. The bottom portion from that point down is actually in pretty good shape. Um, definitely it could be touched up. It's usable, but not perfect. They do sell the reproduction of this uh, back glass. So uh, if you want a perfect one, you can buy it. It's around $250 to $300. All right, well, we got the play field up right now, so I thought we'd take a look at the uh, machine itself on the insides. And as you can see, it's pretty clean in here. And it's got the uh, pitching motor right there, as you can see. And uh, the bat apparatus right there. Coils and some switches and relays and, and stuff like that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's got the Jones plugs down in there tilt bob and a coil. This one's got the original handle right here with the original mechanism on the back side of it. You can sort of see in here. Let me get a, a little bit of a... You can sort of see right there. It's right there. You can see the uh, switch relay that causes the uh, switch to close which lets the bat function up here. Okay, on the back side you've got an original coin mech on the door which is good. It looks like somebody wired a little free play button here. Open the door, push the button, add your credits. Um, what's nice about it is it's got the uh, original coin door. A lot of these are missing the original coin door and the graphics. So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and close this play field up so we can see what we're looking at here. All right, here we go. So anyways, uh, for Micah Playfield, um, what you know? It's real. It's in really nice shape. A little dirty, a little dusty, a uh, little mean green. That whole thing will be. It look like brand new. That's the beauty of the Formica. Nice ramps, no rusting. As you can see, no rust. All that sort of stuff. Very nice. Very nice glass to protect the running man unit back there. All the guys are in there. The scenery is in nice shape. Everything like that. We'll go ahead and take a look at the sides here. Sides are all original. And again, I, I really don't think this needs to be repainted. I think what needs to be done is a good cleaning mean green, cleaning of the cabinet. You can definitely get away with not cleaning this, uh, not repainting this cabinet. It's really, really uh, pretty nice shape, as you can see. Comes with the four original legs which are nice, does not have a play field glass, and it has the back doors. Let's go ahead and take a look here. There's the internals of the head. Again, nice stepper units, score reels, switches, relays. Everything's nice in there. Running man unit down in there. Somebody repaired the back side of the uh, cardboard dog. Uh, crowd scene back here, but that's the back side of it. The front's good. Uh, the inside, power supply, all your relays, score motor, that sort of stuff. There's your score motor. Pretty straightforward, pretty nice shape. Nice Jones plugs and lower back door. Your bells for different scores, stuff like that. That's pretty cool pitch and bat. Also, we do have the lockdown bar. What did we do with it? Oh yeah, it's right over here. That's important. 
Let's go ahead and throw that on there. Lockdown bar uh, has the press for pitch. These are your uh, lockdown screws. These go all the way down in it. The only thing it's missing is the coin acceptor plate. That's it. So there's your lockdown bar. So a pretty cool game. One of the cool features of this game is is um, is it it records your slugging your slugging average. You can see on the back glass there, which is really a cool feature. Uh, total run scored, and it keeps track of the highest score made. And uh, I'll go over a couple of the features here, which are really cool. Comes in replay and novel, the only authentic baseball game with running, with Williams running base unit. Four ways for replays, total runs, slugging average, beat the previous high score, and the match feature, which is pretty cool. So, so you got four ways to play. Players actually run the bases. Ball hitting plexiglass creates an illusion of the ball sailing over the fence. Pitcher actually throws the ball through the flap there. 1956 uh, Williams four bagger deluxe pitch and bat baseball game. A classic for sure with the Formica play field. Very, very cool. All right, guys. Well, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements on Facebook. I ho sure hope you do enjoy my coin-operated videos. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my videos on YouTube. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers, and we're always picking and buying vintage coin-operated items. If you're interested in buying a coin-operated item, give me a call. I'm located in Rochester, New York, 585-747-0605. My name's Mickey. Check out my website, coinop.com.